Hellcat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing how to get better in Blitz and do's and don't do's. So we're going to be doing this is kind of a different video to a type of content, but we're gonna do we're gonna help out the new the, the kind of new uh, the newbies and the new players because there is there have been so many new players in the game and I am thought I could help you all guys out so today we're gonna be doing a video on this and number one is going to be tell your team where to go and I clearly said let's go medium side to try and take out their mediums because it would have made more logic and they was gonna go uh, medium side anyway their their enemy team was but you can clearly see the team really, really didn't uh, want to agree. And so it's that Chimera. I think it was a Chimera, if I'm correct on this. I think he was the one who called me a retard. Which comes into number two already. So I've got two tips in this whole, this one clip. It is, do not rage at your team, boys. No matter what, if you, if you get the shitty RNG or your team's being really bad, no matter what, just don't rage at your team. I know it's hard, but... Try not to raise your team, okay? Because not only is it going to be an issue for you, you should always try and argue for the people that you're fighting against or com competing against. I would never... I would find it more logical to rage against the people you're fighting or I would never rage at a teammate because I feel like it's a bit stupid, I would say, to like rage at your teammate. But even though they are really bad at the game, let's say... 40% player or something like this and they really can't play the game and Yeah, so just be really mindful that Raging at your teammates is not always the best solution, but moving on to number three Coming in to number three guys it is know your tank So say if you're playing a, a TD with absolutely no armor like the waffle for example always be always be mindful that you should camp and never go front line. I, for example, made a very huge mistake here. I peeked out, which it also comes into number four. Never peek out, guys. So as you can see, wait, we're gonna wait until I aim out so I can show you. So here we go. As you can see, the Jack Tiger, and I think it's the uh, wait. Let's see their teammates again. So it's the Jack Tiger and the Fosh. So the Yag Tiger and the Fosh are all in that bush, and they got a nasty shot into me, I think. Oh yeah, the track. So basically, never peek out, guys. So I'm exposed if I peek out a little bit more so they can shoot me. So always be careful and never peek out, because I feel like peeking out is what causes a lot of loses. And I feel like it's really important. So never try and peek out or anything like this whilst you're in a game. Even if, like, you've got a low alpha or something like this. or it, it, But then again, it, it can or sometimes work. But if you're going to peek out, side scrape. Always side scrape. But I'm not going to mention this too much because this is going to be another tip for later in the video. But can, to continue this replay, know your sort of tank. So if it's a TD, go in the back, get the damage done, and obviously hit your shots. But I did <laughs> ricochet the Yag Tiger somehow, which doesn't really make sense how I uh, balance that. But... That's how you play it. Just know your tanks, basically. This is number four, is know your tank. Coming in at number four, guys, it is, of course, follow your team. Now, if you follow your team, the more wins I you're going to get, trust me, you will get so much more wins if you just follow your teammates. Now, if you follow your team, even if you, they're not going to go the side you want to go, Still follow your team. They're gonna. They're always gonna be here for you. They're gonna have your back and everything. Honestly, the amount of times I've died because I've not been with my team is just ridiculous. I have died so many times because I was not with my team. So guys, always stick with your team. It's so so important. I can't stress how important it is just to stay with your team during battle. It's the most important thing for you, you players out there. Please stay with your teammates, even though it might not be the size you want to go. And coming in at number five as well, this is quite a simple one. It is know the minimap. So clearly I can see all the enemy is on the cap. They're all around the cap. And we're up top and we are, tr I guess, some of our teammates 
are going to try and circle them, get some shots onto them, side scrape a little bit, and hopefully take out one of their heavy choices that's going to be that AMX, unfortunately for him, gets absolutely destroyed by our two uh, heavy tanks and the medium. So always always watch the minimap. The minimap is really important. I can see someone's coming up here by just watching the minimap, you know, and I know that someone has a shot for me by the side because I'm looking at the minimap. I know that I can get rushed any second, so I know I need to deal with this K91 really quick. And before I continue this, can we get number five is sides? Uh, number, wait, is it number five? Or number six? I don't know. But anyway, coming at number five, I'm just going to say, is side scrape. What's the point of exposing yourself? Wait, let's try and get the angle, boys. What's the point of exposing yourself with your rig side armor like this? Like, say if I wanted to show him my rear or something like this, just side scrape. You will bounce. Now, I did over-angle here, because he could have shot my tracks, or even the side, he would have still penned me. Just, what you need to do, boys, is just side scrape. Always side scrape. Go from an angle, side scrape like this, and you will cause a lot of bounce. Now, ignore what I did in this, because I did over-angle, and they can shoot the tracks to pen you, but if you don't over-angle, like, I'm going to say, angle like, like, straight forward, Maybe not even straightforward, but somewhere you can get your gun out. Do this so you can get a lot of bounces, boys, and you'll not be risking of taking any damage. But keep in mind, people can still splash you to do damage with HG, so you're not always invincible to taking damage. Coming in at number six, guys, or number five. Oh my god. I know it's number six. So coming in at number six, guys, is don't be afraid to use your HG. Now, a lot of new players into the game do not know how to use the HG at all. They don't know what the high explosive does, they don't know what's the point of it, and they also don't know why people have HG, because you can't even penetrate anything. But I'm going to have to help you guys all out, is when it comes to HG, you say for a, for a, for a existent, uh, for example, the I-7, if you just hold down, from this angle, like hold down, showing his full face, whole side scraping, I could not penetrate him. So what could I use? Should I use gold? But what if it, what if it's still red? What if it's still bits of red there, and I kind of don't want to risk the bounce? Then HE. The HE is always going to be there, guys, and do not be afraid. If you cannot penetrate your target, use the HE. If you've got a big gun like the E3, for example, you can use the HE on this tank and absolutely demolish, and you will win a lot of games with this. I mean, it's not always going to work, so it, because it depends on what tank you're playing, because let's say from Action X5, you're going to use the HE, it's not going to even scratch them, so <coughs> it, it, it'll, it all depends on the type of tank you're playing. But always keep in mind that when you're facing a paper tank, load that HE, and I'm going to guarantee you, you are going to get a lot of wins. Now, here, coming in at number, I think this is number seven, or number, no, number seven is go hold down. And as you can see in this replay, we are getting so many bounces. We have already blocked 3k damage in just the spam of two minutes, and we've blocked 3k damage. Absolutely amazing. And go hold down. So this is number seven, I think. Go hold down. So if, say if your tank has got a really amazing arm profile like the E3 or Action X or Object 252s or anything like this, use your Tor armor and use it correctly and you'll, you're probably going to uh, win a lot of games. Honestly though, the, for the hold down, I'm going to say for the hold down, you, it's not always going to guarantee a win because if your team gets evaporated, and absolutely destroyed, it's going to be an issue because you can't do anything and you will get overrun. So hold down, even though it's an amazing tactic, you still are at risk of losing the game. But coming in as well at number seven, which I should know more of, is not YOLO. And I actually did YOLO. I YOLO'd in. Now, I'm going to say I had no choice. I had no choice. They were capping. The enemy team was capping. They were actually pretty close to winning by cap. So what I had to do, I had no other choice but to YOLO. But any, but in any circumstance, really do not YOLO, guys. It is just really bad. Do not YOLO. You'll get absolutely destroyed, and you will get reported for it because you're gonna lose the team. you're gonna lose the game. If you YOLO, you're losing. It is it's a high chance of you losing losing the game. 
But anyway, guys, this is going to be me for today's video. And I'm going to be gone now. I am going to try and stream tonight. Hopefully I can. But this is going to be enough for today's video. I thought I'd try something different because there is a lot of new players out there now. And I just thought I could help out. But anyways, guys, thank you all for tuning in today's video. Take care. And I'll see you.